What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the upcoming sports cards releases for the entire month of September. So many product releases have been delayed over the last few weeks and everything has just been a mess. But here we are finally. I've been trying to put something together and I just wanted to wait until basically the beginning of September. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm covering a full month. So hold on tight. It's going to be a lot of material, a lot of information. So um, once again, I do want to mention that these are mainly going to be hobby box releases. But if a product has retail too, I'll make sure to mention that as well. But if you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more guys, please consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel and really helps us put more content out there for you to see. But let's get started. And I'm going to try to make this relatively short, so here we go. But uh, starting us off is going to be Topps Chrome uh, Soccer for the MLS. And this is actually going to be the last soccer release of the year that we know of at least. And typically soccer releases um, start around March and end in September every year. But who knows, maybe that'll change in the near future with soccer getting more popularity in the US and with the whole soccer boom. But I'm personally not a collector of MLS cards. Uh, just thought I'd put this one out there for um, those who do collect MLS cards, but pretty sure these will have blasters too. So not only hobby. And our next release date will be September 3rd. And uh, we're looking at Panini Black Football and the Evolutions tins from Pokemon. So here are some images for Panini Black football this is the box and then these are their cards and as you might have guessed already the design is kind of focused on like um, a dark or like black kind of theme so most of the backgrounds for these cards are going to be black and uh, but the real big release that I'm looking forward to uh, is going to be in a later uh, part of this video so stick around for that but uh, the second one on this day as I mentioned earlier is going to be the evolution tins so um, basically evolving skies they're, they're just releasing this new type of product out there. And uh, September 8th is gonna uh, give us WNBA Prism for 2021 and also Donruss Football. So that's what I was talking about uh, earlier compared to the uh, black release. And we'll get to this in a sec, but um, WNBA Prism, uh, this is what the box is gonna look like. Probably same color scheme for um, their blasters too, which these are gonna have. And uh, I've been curious to get these for a while. I, I saw last year's product and it's honestly like the resale is like too much. So I'd rather just wait for these and get these in store when they come out. But uh, I think this is the first time I'm actually going to try WNBA. So I'm really curious. Uh, like the design, can't go wrong with it. This year's Prism design, they just added it to this, to this set too. And next is Panini Donruss Football. Here's what the box is going to look like. But this is probably going to be one of the bigger releases this month, uh, just overall. And a really exciting set, even though I prefer Optic uh, over just the plain Donruss, this set is going to establish like the new softer design uh, they gave the cards. Um, and I'll get to it in a sec, because you'll see it in the... So this is kind of like what a rookie card is going to look like. Obviously the, the rated rookie logo isn't actually going to be on Justin Herbert's card for this set. They're just showing you like where it's going to go. And... The design that I was talking about, and you can see it here, this is the base card for uh, Brady and this is the variation. And actually this is something I thought was like really cool. So they're giving, I think, more variations to, to cards in the set and I'm really digging the rounded strides here. So the traditional like sharp corner like design for Donruss um, is cool and all, but I honestly think I like this one more. And I kind of saw something similar in uh, Prestige, uh, one of the Prestige boxes that I opened on the channel. but. Yeah, here's what they're gonna look like basically. And uh, really looking forward to these actually, but can't wait for these to come out, especially retail. That's gonna be huge. So September 10th, uh, this takes us to the Leaf Signature Football Blaster release and the Pokemon First Partner Pack Johto. And what the Leaf product is, is basically a blaster. It's not retail, it's uh, I wanna say drastically more expensive than retail. But it only has four cards in it and each one of them is going to be an auto and let's look at oh do i not have oh maybe i, I couldn't find them probably made this yesterday and just didn't have the cards but a uh, quick summary on what it is these are four cards uh, as i mentioned and three of them are going to be like a draft pick so they're going to be like their college uniforms and then one of them is going to be like a, an auto of like a hall of fame player so that's basically the whole shindig for for this product I'm going to try to get one of these because I'm actually really curious and autos are really nice especially if it's like a big uh, rookie or a hall of famer can't go wrong with that but 
Uh, I don't know what the price is gonna be. Maybe it's gonna be around like 80 to 100 bucks. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And the Pokemon one, just real quick. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this uh, series, but this is taking us back to the gold and silver times. And uh, yeah, you guys can see Syndicate, Chikorita, and Totodile on there. And I don't know um, if everyone knows what this is, but if you don't, uh, this pack isn't like a regular booster pack. It's like really big and it has three oversized cards, one of each of these Pokemon, and it has like two booster packs in them. So nothing too crazy. Uh, I think it goes for like 10 bucks or something. But September 15th is basically a no release day and September 17th brings us to Optic Basketball. This is probably the biggest release uh, for the month of September and I'm so glad that they finally decided on a date because this one especially kept getting pushed back and back and back so I'm hoping they, they like won't do it again, fingers crossed. But the design on these cards are fire and just look for yourself after the box. But here we are. You guys can see the Zion and the Curry ones. These are actually the ones that I'm uh, uh, excited about the most. This one's gonna be a incredibly hard to pull. I'm not sure if it's like a one of one or like out of 10, but the gold goes really nice with the uh, New Orleans uh, uniform. And this Steph Curry design, um, it's not specifically for Steph Curry, but the design on this card that happens to be Steph Curry is, uh, I don't know, I, I don't think I've seen it before. It's just like really unique and it looks really, like appealing to me and I really like this Jason Tatum card actually I like all, all these cards like designs maybe not the pink color but I do like this laser or um, velocity I think is what they call it for for optic but yeah that's basically optic it's gonna be and it's gonna be an amazing set I can, I can tell you that and the next release on this day will be 2021 Bowman Chrome for baseball I'm personally not a huge collector of Bowman cards but this set is similar to Topps Chrome in a way and speaking of Topps Chrome, I ordered a couple of blasters from Target, like I feel like a couple weeks ago, and I still haven't got them. So as soon as I get those, I'm hoping to make a video on the channel, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already seen loads and loads of, of, like, of, of that product on YouTube. So this is just gonna be me enjoying the video. So if you're curious to see if I pull something great, that'd be amazing. But um, here are what the cards look like for Bowman Chrome. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to add. So. Let's go to September 22nd. Actually, before that, uh, we have our last release for September 17th. This is gonna be Topps Gold Label Baseball. It's basically a higher end product, more expensive. The cards look really nice, and the gold kind of gives it like the really kind of like prestigious kind of look to it. Keep Brian Hayes here. I don't know if this is actually gonna be like a piece of gold. Yeah, it has to be, it's a genuine gold nugget. So this card's gonna be like pretty thick. Yeah, I've never seen this set before, but it looks pretty cool. It's just out of my range. And yeah, September 22nd, another empty day here. So let's go to the 24th. And this time we're gonna get Leaf Ultimate Sports. Basically combines all the sports you can think of, even UFC and like other um, sports that aren't really like ball related necessarily. And here are what some of the cards look like. So you have golf too, you have baseball, soccer, football, basketball. Um, you have a bunch of different looking cards. It's not just autos. I only found pictures of auto cards and this is what the soccer ones look like, but uh, Basically, this is like a pretty expensive product, but you only get like three cards in it and it's gonna be like a combination of uh, Like autos and, and relics. So the box is like $400. That's what it's going for now at least the pre-orders and that puts us at like almost 140 bucks per card after tax. So it's, it's definitely like expensive, but I mean, if you look at the set list, it's all like big players, like big, like famous, like really like accomplished people. So, I mean, I would put it at the medium risk, high reward category. It's just a lot of money up front for three cards. Like it's like $400, but yeah, um, I think two years ago they had this product and they had combined Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Pele, and Ronaldo, El Phenomeno, uh, and I think maybe Rooney's new for this set, but that card alone was going for like, I don't know, 15 grand or like 20 grand or something, I can't remember, but yeah, just stuff like that um, kind of shows you the, the high reward that comes with this product. But the next release for this day is gonna be, it's gonna be the new Pokemon V Union Special Collection. So this is, this like revolves around the new game mechanic 
um, that's going to be like mass introduced in November. But what it is basically is combining like four cards and we can look at three examples here. We have uh, Zacian, Mewtwo and Greninja. You basically get three single cards and you combine them to make like one big card. And every single one of these has has like a move on it. So you te technically have like four moves, which is I thought it was like really interesting. But you can only bring these into the game after you've discarded them by using this trainer card here. And uh, I don't know, overall it's just a new concept, so I'll see how it's going to change the game dynamic in November. But uh, yeah, I mean it kind of reminds me of the whole Exodia thing in, in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game from like back in the day. But yeah, I thought it was really cool. And the last release day of this month is going to be September 29th with two best well releases. Starting off with a new draft class set under Chronicles with Kate Cunningham and Jalen Suggs as the box cover images. Here's what the cards are going to look like. Nothing too crazy, just a typical Chronicles format. Can't believe we're already starting with a new draft class for basketball. I honestly remember collecting like uh, Lamelo draft picks uh, prisms not too long ago, which feels like it was like a few months ago, but it was actually almost a year ago, which is it's crazy. Time flies. So Obsidian is going to be the last release for September. And what this looks like is basically what we're looking at right now. Uh, the designs are really cool. I really like the whole concept behind Obsidian. And the RPAs are actually really nice looking, especially this Ant-Man Ant one over here. Uh, the James Wiseman one looks really cool. We just haven't seen James Wiseman in a while. But you also have the die cut Supernova here. You got Jokic and of course, an honorable mention to the uh, auto from Luca's mom right here. So yeah, anyway, uh, that's all the releases for September guys. Thanks for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.